Hello, you are watching the special release of KC News. The event called Enterprise Ethereum Alliance launch took place on the last day of winter at the Metro Tech Center, New York. Some 30 companies are set to announce the formation of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, which will create a standard version of the Ethereum software that businesses around the world can use to track data and financial contracts. Maxim Patkus, blockchain engineer at Chronicles, presented the demo of the title deed registration on the Quorum blockchain at the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance launch. We think that uh, we can put cryptographic identity into any physical object. And how do we do this? Uh, we literally put chip inside. And uh, here are a near field communication chip, uh, which you can, as you can see, it's uh, less than an inch in width and it's very thin. And we also have Bluetooth Low Energy chip. Um, yeah. Just to give you an example of what we can do from, with this. So here I have a product, we call it Crypto Seal. Um, so what is Crypto Seal? Basically it's, a, it's just a tamper-proof adhesive sticker. So if you put it on any <coughs> physical object like a box or a container, uh, if you try to peel it off or open, it will break it into many pieces. And also, uh, this sticker has a cryptographic microchip inside, it's here, and uh, it has a printed electronic circuit, so it goes all around through sticker, so if you uh, break the sticker itself, uh, the chip will record this information and it will be stored there, so you can prove at which, so for example, if you have like a chain, um, supply chain example, you will be able to know at which stage uh, the crypto seal was broken. We have different form factors of the crypto seal. It can be a very small one and big one, as I showed. So we can use it for packaging. Also, we can use it for uh, documents, this round one. Ethereum was introduced in 2013 by a developer named Vitalik Buterin, the 19, who had previously worked on Bitcoin. Project won a large following among programmers who view it as a new and sophisticated way for groups of people and companies to initiate and track transactions and contracts of all sorts. Today, Ethereum has a larger community of volunteer developers and more computers on its network than Bitcoin. And the members of the new alliance, which include Banco Santander, BBVA, Credit Suisse, ING, Intel, Thomson Reuters and UBS, say the real-world testing of Ethereum makes it stronger than the alternatives. Azure, cloud computing service created by Microsoft, has joined the enterprise Ethereum. Post about it was published on the official website of Azure Microsoft. As time goes by, Microsoft doesn't depart from the teachings of its founder. Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is, is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So. It, 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 the Bitcoin technology is key and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. As Ethereum successes continue, more and more promising project uses as a basis for their developments. In our opinion, the most prominent of them is Kronobank. Kronobank is an ambitious and wide-ranging blockchain project aimed at disrupting the HR, recruitment, finance industries in a similar way to how Uber disrupted the taxi business and how Upwork represented an evolution in freelancing. And apparently they will succeed. By raising more than $6.5 million through the ICO and cooperating with such financial tycoons as Waves and Amercoin, team of the project jumps on a bandwagon with matter trends of the industry. Last month, Kronobank distributed its time tokens among the participants of the ICO. Time token contracts are successfully deployed to the Ethereum mainnet. At the moment, approximately 95% of all time tokens are distributed. Kronobank's time launches on four exchanges. Leafcoin, Liqui, Mercatex and Ether Delta are now trading time with combined daily volumes of over $200,000. Kronobank CEO Sergei Sergienko comments, Kronobank are correctively exploring listings with larger exchanges and working closely with them to ensure that both compliance and technical requirements can be met. Meanwhile, the Explorer team has published top 10 Ethereum token rating. Tokens are ranked by amount of transactions for the last 90 days. 
Despite that Quanabank Time token at that time was just 4 days old, it has managed to enter the top 10 Ethereum tokens by amount of transactions during the last 90 days. Chronobank will be implementing Explorer's API within their Chrono wallet to gain the information required to conduct a range of time token operations. Explorer's API will be used to acquire information about Ethereum tokens, contracts, transactions and custom structures within the Chrono wallet. Adopting Explorer's API will significantly speed the development of Chronobank's wallet and offer features that might otherwise have taken weeks or months to develop. Uber made a revolution in taxi business by allowing anyone to become a taxi driver. Drivers cash in their spare time for extra money and customers get a cheaper ride. Similarly, Upwork has created freelance industry by connecting professionals and their clients outside of traditional agencies. Chronobank will do the same with real-world professions that currently use recruitment, outsourcing or labor hire companies. E-commerce warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning, and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession, making it easy and low cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. The first stage of our project is to create multi-blockchain labor hours, sustainable, stable coins that are protected from inflation. In contrast to national currencies, Labor hours will be backed by real labor time provided by major recruitment companies around the world. The second stage is to create Labor X, a decentralized marketplace where people in the real world professions will be able to sell their labor time to anyone without middlemen, just as easily as Uber drivers or Upwork freelancers do. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. Chronobank's security team involves three independent security researchers to proceed with security and issues audit of time and labor hour token smart contracts. Mika Ochtema, an experienced smart contracts developer, security researcher and blockchain entrepreneur, has audited Chronobank's smart contract development process. Ochtema praises the team's measured attitude towards development and launch of the core Chronobank software. In the recent post in his blog, Ochtema stated, The Ethereum community is young. In the past, teams have rushed forward to make names for themselves. Chronobank values investor protection and acts over longer, stabler development and testing paths. Nikolai Mushegyan, known as the MakerDAO savior, has become the another expert to audit Chronobank's core systems. While commenting on the results of audit, Mushegyan noticed, in general, the contracts are well written and follow good practices. The new Alchemy team identified no critical bugs or vulnerabilities. We should recognize that the first audit of Chronobank was pretty much successful. Project received a reasonable good marks with a set of very useful comments for future developments and improvements. No serious issues have been found by the moment. Nevertheless, a lot of remarks and recommendations can be found inside each report. Future remark list has been recently published in the official blog of Chronobank. According to it, team of the Chronobank should improve a few crucial points regarding the development of the project. Improve labor of a token business logic, improve update procedure, promote update algorithm, and then rethink recovery procedure. Right after reporting on the final stage of audit, Chronobank launches the development update number 6. According to the official blog of the project, Chronobank has almost finished the researches regarding LaborX. Additionally, LaborX white paper is almost finished. It was announced that as far as first part of MVP is done, collected funds will be released by escrows. These funds are expected to be immediately pushed to the LaborX development. LaborX is a decentralized marketplace where the real-world professions will be able to sell their personal for labor hour tokens or other crypto on a fully decentralized basis. A blockchain-based free market approach will allow Chronobank to differentiate between labor of various forms, as well as allowing workers to be ranked according to skill and performance. Following the recommendations received during the audit, team of Chronobank started working on the significant architectural changes in Chronomy control panel for both Chronobank and labor offering companies. According to the official block of the project, IPFS or BDB key value storage was chosen in order to decrease all Ethereum transaction costs needed to Chronomint works properly. Chronobank launched the Time Token Reward Model 2.0. Team of the project decided to make the existing reward model SEC compliant and deliver more fees to Time Token holders, including those under the US jurisdiction. 
As a world of fintech goes along the orbit, don't miss your piece of a pie. As William Shakespeare once said, better three minutes too soon than a minute too late. Check out cronobank.io and don't miss the next KC News special release. See you in a week.